Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah. We have a great show for you today. Later on, we're going to be talking a little bit about summer skin care. We've also got some information for business owners. And right now, we're talking about a really great event that is both a music festival and a conference. So what a great way to combine some things. Joining us to talk about it is Roy Elkins, the founder, and Amber Sweener, the public relations and musician. Thanks for being here. Thank you Thanks for having for us. us. What a fun thing to chat about. So I want yes. to make sure viewers know a little bit about Between the Waves. Now this is, like I said, a festival and a conference. So give us kind of the, the broad spectrum on this so we know what it's all about. The, the, it's, it's Like you say, it's two events. The con it starts with a conference on Thursday, June 15th. And it's an educational platform for musicians to come in and just Help, help learn how to make a living making music. In the evening on Friday and Saturday night, June 16th and 17th, we have 45 bands playing at the Majestic, the Brink Lounge, and the High Noon over two days. And that's an awesome show with uh, the, the who's who in the Madison music scene is playing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it sounds like a great event, and you and I have gotten the chance to yeah. chat about it a yeah, little bit, did. Roy. Uh, it's nice to have you here, Amber. Thank you. A little bit different perspective. Now, you yeah. have been involved in this event, but also as a musician, you have, I'm sure, a lot of input as to why this is important. But first, tell me a little bit about your involvement. Sure. So I got involved about a year ago when Roy invited me to bring some of my um, marketing input since I have a marketing business. And I am also a musician, been a musician for eight years. And this was an awesome opportunity to help with the marketing for the past year, but also bring the perspective of a musician who wants to learn more about how we can make our music more of our business and make more of a living through our music. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you're talking specifically about the conference portion, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. explain a little bit why somebody who is a mus musician and you, you know, specifically mm -hmm. might be interested in that component and how it can help them. There are a lot of different channels in which you can get your music out there, make money, or just share your passion more for music. And that's what the conference is aiming to teach people about, how we can do more with our music. And that's what I'm excited to learn about are all the different avenues that we can get our music out there. Yeah, and that, this is a little bit what Roy and I chatted about before, which is that this is an industry that's really tough to navigate because there's mm -hmm. not necessarily a step-by-step -step roadmap like there are mm -hmm. in some of the other professions out there. So right. for musicians to be able to sit down with other folks who have paved their way mm -hmm. to learn yeah. a little bit more about how they can grow, even if you're already successful, there's probably more you can do. Yes. and learn from. So I think that's really incredible. Um, as far as the conference is concerned, what are some of the highlights that folks can expect? Well, I, I think there's a uh, couple of real key things. Uh, the opening session is Paul Brusek, the president of Warner Pictures Music Group. He just produced the music to Wonder Woman, which set box office records last weekend. Uh, we also have local legend Ben Sidron, who's speaking on Sunday afternoon. Kip Winger, the famous rocker from the uh, 80s and 90s, who's now a, a classical musician. Dave Spiro, Joe, Ma uh, Joe Walsh's manager, speaking at the conference. And by the way, that all culminates with the uh, Madison Area Music Awards on Sunday night, where a lot of these people are presenting awards to our local musicians. So it's going to be a great weekend for music. No kidding. Wow, what a fun time here in Madison. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the festival now, too. Now, the, the entire event spans from June 15th through 18th, the festival being part of that. Anything special you want to share about that? Uh, well, I think that, uh, I could, there's 45 bands, and it's hard to pick one of them. Right. But in a uh, minute, anything yeah, that's, yeah, in one minute, yeah. Uh, there's a great metal showcase. Uh, there's singer-songwriter showcase with Mark Croft and then Beth, Beth Killey's Chick Singer Night. And on Saturday night, though, I'm really excited about this. We, we have the Majestic Theater. We have a free hip-hop showcase with the Dogs of War, with Rob Dees, with Keon Andre, some of the best uh, hip-hop artists in Madison. So there's a lot of... A lot of everything for everybody. Right. And before we go, we're about to head to break, but if you don't want to do both things, maybe you're a musician, you just want to go to the conference, or maybe you're a fan and you just want to watch some music and, yeah. and be mm -hmm. part of that, can you do one or the other? Yes. That's a you can buy tickets online, a multi-day ticket, a ticket for the both conference and festival, or either or. Awesome. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun, and you could stand to learn a lot, too, if you're a musician out yeah. there. Well, thank you for sharing a little bit about your experiences, and then Roy, again, for sharing more about the event. Sounds like a great time. Thank you, Jessica. Appreciate thank it. you. Again, this is Amber and Roy with Between the Waves uh, Madison Music Festival and Conference. As a reminder, June 15th through June 18th. 
We've got more after the break. We're checking in with Wisconsin Business World. That's next on Talk of the Town.